Science 4, Quarter 1, Week 3 to Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Changes in Solid Materials Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! Our lesson for today in science is about changes in solid materials. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe changes in solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. Hello kids! Today, you will learn to describe about the changes in solid materials. What are solid materials? Solid materials are objects which have their own properties and characteristics. Solid is a state of matter with a definite shape, size, color, texture, weight, and volume. Solid materials can be changed in many ways, like bending, pressing, hammering, and cutting. Another ways in changing solid materials are tearing, coloring, twisting, crumpling, folding, and stretching. Bending, pressing, hammering, or cutting of solid materials may change their size, shape, texture, color, and other characteristics, but no new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the materials is changed. Ductility is the ability of a material to be hammered, thinned, bent, or stretched without breaking. For example, slippers. Slippers can be bent. It can also be stretched without breaking. Sponge. Sponge can be bent and stretched without breaking. Paper clip. Paper clip can be bent and stretched without breaking. Brittleness is the capability of a material to be easily broken, cracked, or snapped. Like for example, ceramics. These materials can be easily broken, cracked, or snapped. Mirror. It can be easily broken, cracked, or snapped. Crayon. When you bend this object, it can be easily broken or cracked. Changes in solid materials when bent. Bending means to force an object especially a long thin one from a straight form into a curb or angular one, or from a curb or angular form into some different form. We can use our force to bend some light materials. These are the materials that we can bend. Wire, ruler, rubber mat, paper clip, and slippers. Changes in solid materials when pressed. Pressing is to apply or exert weight, force, or steady pressure on. Pressing is also known as stamping. It is a process of applying a pressure from a tool to form a particular shape. We can use our force to press materials. These are examples of pressing, like pressing a mud clay. Clay dough, bread dough, pressing a pillow, and ironing. Changes in solid materials when hammered. Hammering means beating, striking, or pounding materials or objects. A hammer is a hand tool 
usually consists of a solid head held on the end of a handle. Carpenters and other construction workers make use of the hammer in driving nails, beating metals, fixing and repairing objects and others. Next is Changes in solid materials when cut Cutting means to divide something using a sharp edge tool, pointed object, or with blade like scissor, knife, and machines used for cutting. These objects are tools for cutting, like scissor, knife, plies, paper cutter, and cutter. We use a scissor to cut the paper. We use a knife to slice the fruit, vegetables, and meat. We use pliers to cut the wire. And we use a cutter to cut the cardboard. And now, let us do learning task 1. With the given solid materials, show ways by which you can change the characteristics of the materials. Check each column where each material responds appropriately. The first object is stone. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! Stone can be changed when hammered. Next material is clay. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! Clay can be bent, hammered, cut, and pressed. Next material, eraser. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! Eraser can be bend and cut. Next material is a sponge. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! Sponge can be bend, cut, and press. Next, copper wires. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! It can be bend and cut. Next material is cloth. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! It can be cut. Next material is a ball pen. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! It can be hammered. Next material, metal spoon. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! It can be bend. Next material is plastic straw. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! It can be bent and cut. Next material is a crayon. In what ways it can be changed? Correct! It can be bent, hammered, and cut. Remember, bending, pressing, Hammering or cutting of solid materials may change their size, shape, texture, color, and other characteristics, but no new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the materials is changed. Ductility is the ability of a material to be hammered, thinned, bent, or stretched without breaking. Like slippers, it can be bent. Sponge and paper clip. Brittleness is the capability of a material to be easily broken, crack or snap, like ceramics, mirror, and crayons. These materials can be easily broken, crack or snap. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!